I don't know if any of y'all are fans of the game of tennis, but after watching this whole Julio Jones thing and what it's been, I feel like you got no choice but to be. Because this thing keeps going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. One minute old, the report comes out, the Ravens are interested. Next time, the report comes out, the Ravens aren't interested. Then another report comes out, oh, the Ravens are interested if, the, if it's the right price. Then another report comes out, oh, the Ravens are out. So it, it has just been a whirlwind of just up and down. And I know a lot of Ravens fans' hearts have continued to be tugged back and forth. They just don't like it. And I don't blame you. But we're just ready for this Julio thing to really be done. And it'd be nice if it could be done and it could end with the Ravens acquiring Julio Jones, but we'll see. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. Happy Wednesday. Hope y'all look good. Uh, new episode of the Team Keep It Clean podcast is going to be coming out today. I actually got to still record it. But anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the positivity. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Thank you for supporting. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. You know what? Without further ado, let's read this report. So... Uh, it says, the Baltimore Ravens and Los Angeles Rams have reportedly removed themselves from the Julio Jones sweepstakes. Oh, boy. Appearing Wednesday morning on Get Up ESPN, NFL insider Kimberly Martin said she knows for a fact that the Ravens and Rams are no longer pursuing the Atlanta Falcons wide receiver. So, for a fact, so just like at the end of these videos, we out. But literally, it's saying that we are out of the Julio Jones trade sweepstakes. And... This, it, it just, it really doesn't really change how I feel about the situation. Um, I, I mean, I, I could give you 50 million reasons why the Ravens should acquire Julio Jones. I, I, I could list them all out for you if you want to, but y'all know them already. Um, but this report, it doesn't make me feel like, oh man, now the Ravens, they absolutely out of it. Because again, like I said, we've been getting back and forth reports uh, for the longest with this whole Julio Jones thing. And that's why we're just, we, we're ready for it to, to be done, to be over with, to be finished. Finito. Shout out to Chief Keith. Anyway, I just, I, I, but let's, let's read the next part of the article. Because the next part of the article, if Ravens fans didn't like the first part, they may be indifferent about the first part. But I know a lot of Ravens fans, they're not going to like the second part for sure. <laughs> Ooh. Martin also said that she has heard the Tennessee Titans are strong contenders for Julio Jones, adding that most of the people she has spoken with expect Julio Jones will probably get traded to Tennessee. Now, Ravens and Titans, they used to be in the same division a long time ago. And they had just an epic rivalry. It was rough. It was nasty. And that's when you could truly play football. Like, now you can play football, but back then you could really play football. And it was something serious. And over these past couple of years, that rivalry in this day and age of football, it has begun getting new life injected into it. Now, just imagine with everything that's happened, even just with the Ravens and the Titans over these past two years, even over the past just one year, with everything that's happened between these two teams, just imagine... Imagine how upset Ravens fans would be if the Titans were to acquire one Julio Jones. Ooh, it would be crazy. Because, I mean, I, I wouldn't even be able to go on Twitter that day. The day that happens, oh, stay off of Twitter, face, stay off of everything. Because, oh, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be very, very ugly. But like the Titans, the, he, like the Ravens and the Titans, they're very similar because they love to run the football. Like Derrick Henry getting 2,000 yards in this day and age in a passing league, yeah, that, that just doesn't happen unless you absolutely love to run the football. Love to run the football. And both of these teams, the Ravens and Titans, their, their teams, their success, it starts with the run. Like it really starts with it. It starts and finishes with the run. They'll do some passing out too, and, and, but what they pride themselves on in the passing game is efficiency. It's efficiency. It's not all about these pretty passing numbers. It's not all about getting thrown for 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 yards. It ain't about that. It's about efficiency. It's about when, when it's time to pass, you being able to pass. And pass well, too. So just like he'll be a good fit with the Baltimore Ravens, he will be a good fit with the Tennessee Titans, too. He really would be. And he would be able to sort of offset 
some of the losses that the Tennessee Titans have suffered, so to speak. Jonu Smith, he went to the Patriots. That was their tight end. Corey Davis, he went to the Jets, I believe. That was their other wide receiver, who was like a number five or number six overall pick, but he just didn't live up to that. But if they got a Julio Jones to pair him with A.J. Brown, who said he didn't say whatever it was said that he said about Lamar Jackson? But if he paired, paired them two wide receivers together, you can still got Ryan Tannehill, who's not too shabby. You got Derrick Henry, of course. Ooh. That could be something serious. It could be. Now, again, with the Ravens, it'd be the same thing. Ravens, you know they're going to run the ball. They got J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards. You know, Lamar, he be pitching in in the run game, too. But then with the receivers, you got Sammy Watkins. New, he's a, new to the team, but he definitely knows the offense. And, I mean, speaking of Sammy Watkins, because we always say that timing is everything, it just so happens on the day that this report, <laughs> it almost seemed like the Ravens trying to do damage control or something with the fan base. But it just so happens that on the day that this report comes out, that Sammy Watkins is scheduled to speak to the media in, in a presser from the Ravens, I think about 2.20, 2.30, around then. So it's going to be Sammy Watkins. They said Tyus Bowser as well. I forgot who else is supposed to be a part of it. But just what a, what a coincidence, right? So shout out to Sammy Watkins. But he, he's going to be speaking later on. But um, Sammy Watkins, you got Hollywood, of course, Rashad Bateman, Tyler White. And just if, if, if you were to acquire Julio Jones and add him to that, to this offense, again, like I said earlier, I can, I can give you 50 million reasons why the Ravens should acquire Julio Jones. 50, because it just makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. Like, uh, having that sure thing at the wide receiver. <laughs> Ooh. But we'll see. We'll see. Real quick, I do got to give a shout out um, to my guy Marvin Bama, 16, because he actually let me know about this early in the morning at 8.16 a.m. He let before it was any article that came out. I guess he was watching ESPN get up. And he saw that she said it. He, he must be his eyes glued on that TV waiting for Julio to go to wherever he ends up going to. But I'm just I, we all waiting. We all been checking our phones. We all been waiting for that alert, that notification, that email, that YouTube video, that Instagram post, that Twitter. What we waiting for it to say the Falcons have traded Julio Jones to whatever team it may be. But think about this. Something that it is possible, it's unlikely, it's very unlikely, but something that's very possible. What if the Falcons were like, you know what, we're not even going to trade Julio. We ain't even going to trade him. We're going to keep him. Because they could. All they would have to do is restructure some contracts here and there, and they could keep Julio Jones. But I think the damage is already done, and he's ready to be shipped out. Falcons ready to ship him out. It's just a matter of time now, man. It's a matter of time. Uh, so... We'll continue waiting and watching. And we'll see if this report, it, it comes to fruition. Or if it doesn't, it, that would be nice. But either way, let's get this thing over with. Falcons, come on, man. Get, get it done, man. Get it done. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like apparently the Ravens and the Rams are when it comes to the Julio Jones sweepstakes, I'm out.